Welcome back to Autism Live. We're really excited because we're welcoming for the first time Dara Brangan. Dara, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. It's uh, an honor, Shannon. Well, it's an honor for us, and we're going to be talking specifically about a new product that you're bringing to market called Goalie, and you're the co-founder of Goalie. And I think if it's okay with you, Dara, we're going to go right so that people will understand what it is that we're talking about. We're going to go right to your promotional video, okay? Sure. Okay, so let's take a look at what Goalie is. Hello, and welcome to the product demo of Goalie. Goalie consists of a Wi-Fi connected smart clock for children and a mobile app for parents. In addition, Goalie has an intelligent adaptive learning backend system for dynamically customizing features and making recommendations for each individual child. The most important benefit provided by Goalie is helping kids develop independence. The second benefit is to reduce the stress for the parent, child, and the rest of the family. Goalie does the prompting, not the parent. Goalie uses customizable tunes, lights, and visuals to remind the kids of what needs to be done. The third benefit of Goalie is to give tangible data about the progress made by the child to both the parents and the therapists. We've been iterating Goalie for over 10 months and have tested with around 30 families so far, constantly improving based on their feedback. Fabulous. What a great explanation, beginning explanation, but Dara, I'm so glad that you're here to talk with us about this because we want to know what, and I'm, I'm imagining that parents are already starting to get this, but what is this all about and what was the problem that you specifically were trying to fix? Thanks, that's a great question, Sean. I should explain the video is something we just made very recently. It's one of our youngest beta testers, so it does take some explanation. <laughs> Sean, as, as every parent knows, every parent will tell you how difficult it is to teach our kids to be independent, how difficult and stressful it is. And for children with executive functioning skills, um, such as autism, and as you mentioned earlier, how anxiety is so often involved, it can be that much more difficult. So it's a very, very stressful situation. Our goal is to help kids become more self-sufficient much faster and without all the stress and anxiety of the nagging and constant reminding. I am a professional nagger. And, you know, and I, I consider myself a helicopter parent. And, you know, my son is at an age where he does not want to be nagged, but I still want those executive function goals to happen. And I see this as a wonderful, wonderful bridge. So tell us exactly how does it work? Um, well, there are two parts to Goalie. The first is um, there's a, a smartphone app for parents. So what parents do is they enter in daily activities such as brushing your teeth, getting dressed, you know, packing your bag into the app. Now the app is connected via Wi-Fi to Goalie. Now, Goalie belongs to the child. It's very important that they feel this sense of ownership. And Goalie lets kids know at the right time when it's time to start a routine. So Goalie will also guide them through step by step each activity that the child, the parent has programmed. So it's very customizable. Children can pick their own images for different activities, but it's a personal assistant for kids. And one of the reasons, Sean, it works so well is that kids do start taking ownership of routines. The goalie belongs to them. Instead of the parent reminding them, it's their goalie reminding them. So a lot of that stress and tension is just taken out of the equation. And so how did you come up with this idea? It's brilliant. <laughs> well, it wasn't me, but thank you. Um, the idea, no surprise, came from a stressed out parent. One of my co-founders um, is a super smart engineer, and he has two young kids, um, one of them with ADHD. And he got so frustrated after trying sticker charts, smartphone apps, a lot of solutions that didn't work for him, that he literally built his own goalie. So a few months later, when it was still working great, uh, three of us just decided that this is something that needed to exist in the world, and we, we quit our jobs, and now we're trying to make it, um, make it available to everybody. We love this. And so what ages do you think this is best appropriate for? Well, so far, we have actually have testing between ages of 4 and 19. We just extended the, the age range um, to younger adults because we had so many requests. Uh, we will make different versions of Goalie for different age groups. But um, I think the whole the whole age range. Um, now we are focused only on um, kids who have executive functioning challenges. And you mentioned your testers, and you mentioned in the video that you've got some beta testers. What? Who are these people that are testing it? Well, we have 40 families testing right now, and they are fantastic. They are advisors. They're giving us feedback on what to change. And they're all parents of kids with autism, um, a few with ADHD. So one of our earliest testers, for example, he started in January. Uh, his name is Aiden, and he's an 11-year-old boy with autism. 
Um, when he first started using Goalie, he would carry it around the house with him. He called it his Goalie baby, but he would have to use Goalie for each each task. Goalie would tell him what to do. Now, if you fast forward several months, now he's finishing nearly all his routines without Goalie even notifying him at all. So now he's still using Goalie, but he uses it more like you and I would use a calendar or a checklist just to remind him, you know, what what if he's forgetting something. And that's really what we're aiming for is to to build kids' independence and executive functioning skills so they don't need Goalie anymore. What a great example. And in general, are your beta tester families saying that they're seeing a difference with their kids? Absolutely. Now, it's not working yet for everyone. We have about 8 out of 10 families it's working great for, um, and then 2 out of 10 where, you know, it doesn't work for whatever reason. But we're working, we have a great panel of advisors, um, medical advisors helping us. We're working to figure out how to make it work for everybody. Love it. I have to say that I think the ABA people are going to be all over this uh, and, and absolutely love it. Are you already having some therapists use it? Um, we have one therapist using it, but we have many therapists advising us. Uh, the Colorado Children's Hospital, University of Colorado, local neurodevelopmental people, we have a, a great advisors. Um, so I think the reason ABA therapists love it, as, as you, you know better than me, is it's a very data-driven science. And Goli can help therapists collect a lot of data about how their program is working for kids when they're not there. And that can help them augment the program. And um, it also helps busy parents who are stressed out, you know, um, it, it makes it easier for them to to implement the therapy program which the, their therapist is recommending. Absolutely. We're always telling parents, you know, the prescription for a lot of kids when they're early years might be 40 hours a week, and but that's not the end of it. When the therapists leave, we as parents have to uphold it, and you have to uphold it while you're cooking dinner, you have to uphold it while you've got a phone call, and anything that helps us to create more hours in which we're reinforcing the behaviors we want to see and, and getting them to goals, it's absolutely brilliant. So when is this going to be released? Well, we're planning on releasing it next spring, but that may change a little bit depending on how soon we get investors. Um, so we do have a beta program, which we're going to be expanding later this year. So not everyone will have to wait until next spring to get a goalie, uh, but the official release we're hoping will be next year. Because aren't you looking to add some more testers? Isn't that one of the things you told me? Um, yeah, we're hoping to add more testers. Now, right now we have quite a long waiting list, um, but we're hoping very shortly that we'll have the funding to build maybe 500 or 1,000 more goalies and have a much larger test program because we really want this to be community driven. Like we have a small group now who are helping us make it better. We want to get all the knowledge of all the parents and all the medical experts who are helping us. And um, we all come together and just make this work for, for the whole community. I love that you're, you're doing it right, that that's a, that's a wonderful thing. When this comes to market, how much are you thinking it's going to cost to consumers? Now, we're not sure because we've jumped around a bit. There is the whole commercial side of this, which we were a little less used to. Um, so we're still trying to figure out exactly what support services and parents might like. So, for example, maybe they would like access to a therapist via email or a phone to help them with reinforcement and so forth. So we're thinking right now that maybe... We wouldn't charge for the device at all, but we would have some sort of a monthly monthly rental fee of like fifteen or twenty dollars for both the device and whatever services our testers tell us that ultimately they want. We need to figure that out over the next two three months. Okay, and maybe you'd like some input on that because I'm sure parents have some some thoughts on that. But how can we as a community? I think this is super duper smart, and I think people are going to want this, and I think it's going to be helpful. How can we help you to make this happen and make it happen sooner as opposed to later? Well, thank you, Shannon. Uh, the one thing that you said is advice and ideas. We're always looking for an advice and ideas on how to make Goalie better because this, this is a community effort. It's going to take all of us to make this really work. The other thing that we could really use help with is getting the word out. To raise investment and get Goalie into everybody's hands, uh, we will need to um, persuade investors that people really want this. So the more people we have following us on Facebook and signing up on our website, the easier it will be for us to persuade investors to, to make Goli a reality. And we have not even mentioned the website yet, so let's do that now. What's the website? And Samantha's going to pop it up on the screen for us. But tell right, us, Dara, what's your website? Uh, the website is goli.co. It's easy to get wrong, so it's G-O-A-L-L-Y dot C-O. Okay, and it's there on the screen. We're going to say it again for those of you who are listening on iTunes. G-O-A-L-L-Y dot C-O. It's not a, a typo that we're missing an M there. It's dot C-O. Okay, right. um, and so uh, people can go there, find out more information. You mentioned that you're on Facebook. What's, what's the name on Facebook? 
Uh, if you Google for goalie or search for goalie in Facebook, you'll find us. Uh, you'll find us easily. Okay, wonderful. And and people can interact with you there if they want to get on the waiting list to be a beta tester uh, or find out more information or email you. They can do all of that through the website, correct? Absolutely, they can sign up on the website. If they if they do the contact us on the website, that will go directly to me. So yes. Well, I think that this is super duper clever. Any time that we can do something to supercharge the, the, the hours that our kids are awake and have more opportunity for them to be self-sufficient at both things, uh, you know, you're cooking with gas. So I think this is remarkable. I saw this and I was like, oh, we have to have them on the show and talk about this. I wish you were having it sooner, um, uh, come out sooner because I'm just impatient like that. But I'm glad that you're waiting to do it right and taking a lot of input. Shannon, thank you so much. It's really been great being on the show. Appreciate it. And I got to say, especially for, for, you know, those of you who have kids who are, I mean, I think it's great to do it with the younger kids, but as a, a mom of a teenager, boy, the teenagers just don't want to hear it from us anymore. They just are so done with hearing from us. And we're kind of done with the, the pecking and nagging. So I really, really love this. If you were here, I would give you a hug, Dara. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So goalie, G-O-A-L-L-Y dot C-O. You guys go and check it out and support this product. And then when you when you finally get to market, you got to come back and be on the show, okay? Absolutely. I'll come and I'll give you a hug. All right. Thank you so much.